Hey guys, what's up? Once again, another video. It's been a long time. I'm happy to be back on track. So today I'm going to the northest part of Germany, uh, Rügen, it's called the area. And there's a friend of mine who's building a house of uh, hempcrete. That's a very natural, sustainable material. I'm gonna talk to you later about it. And yeah, so I'm starting today. I will be there tomorrow over the weekend. I will make some drone shots. Yeah, I'm gonna take the train now. I'm on the station here in Stuttgart. And so, see you later. The train is arriving. Okay guys, first up, Hamburg Main Station. So I just arrived here in Stralsund, the weather sucks. One hour more left, bus ride, I'm waiting for the bus now. And I hope the weather tomorrow is gonna be a little bit better, because Flying with a drone at those winds, it's not a pleasure. But yeah, it's been a nice trip to now. A little bit rainy. Typical North German weather. And yeah, and after that one hour, uh, I will arrive at Budemin. It's on Rügen. It's actually an island, northern of Germany. And there's a uh, the site where the colleague, uh, the friend of mine, he's is uh, building this this house of this material, this hempcrete ecologic material I told you before. So, yep, see you later or tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I'm here now in Rügen. I just arrived last night, um, we had dinner and this is a beautiful place here in the water of this apartment and yeah today we are going on the site, we are going to film the, the construction site and we'll show you everything, a nice view from the top. Yeah I'm excited to show you everything today, so see you later. Hey guys, so here we are now on the side, as I told you before in the morning. I'm with my friends Felix and Henrik. And Henrik, uh, he founded his own company one year ago uh, for consulting and building hempcrete buildings around Germany. And so tell us, what's your mission? Yes, my mission is uh, to push building with hemp forward in Germany because it's a very sustainable material. And Felix, what is hempcrete and what are the main benefits of it? Hempcrete is quite an interesting material as it's, it's made from the woody inner parts of the hemp plant. 80 to 90 percent is bio-based material in hempcrete and it's combined with a binder, a mineral binder that could be clay or lime. Okay, so let's go closer to a wall and uh, find out more about it. Let's have a look. All right, guys, here we are looking at the hempcrete wall. And the special thing about this building method right here is that it's a monolithic build-up. So it's 36 centimeters in strength, which is enough to comply with the high demanding German thermal regulations. We just plaster it from both sides, on the outside with lime, on the inside with clay, and that's it, done. No additional layer for thermal performance or anything. Other benefits are that it's resistant against pests and mold while it's promoting a healthy climate for the inhabitants so w because it is good in regulating the indoor humidity it's as well fire resistant very well and probably the best part of it is that it's co2 negative 
So this building locks up more CO2 than which is emitted during the construction. And this is because it's a plant-based material, mostly. So these were some interesting facts about the physics of this material, but there are three ways actually, actually to build this, right? Correct. There are three ways of working with hempcrete. The first one and my favorite one is the so-called in situ method. That is mixing the shifts of the hemp plant with the mineral binder at the construction site and fill it into formworks by hand. That's quite an easy method and it's especially popular among self-builders because they can put in a lot, a lot of work themselves and by that save money. Another method is um, spraying with hempcrete. That is mostly used when you have big areas to fill with hempcrete and one benefit is that you reach the highest insulating performance with spraying to hempcrete. But it's not so easy to adopt so you need a, 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 a well a good team that plays together well. And the third method is hemp bricks, stones, pre-panels, whatever you want to call them, they are there in different sizes and shapes. And the main benefit of working with pre-panels is that they come dried to the construction site. So it's a big time-saving method. You save a lot of time, you save the complete drying process basically. And it's quite easy to adopt for regular masonry workers because the technique is quite similar. Yeah, exactly. Okay guys, that was a great experience to be here on a real Hankrit building site to experience it live with the workers and, and see how it's built actually. And yeah, if you need more information about it, you can contact my, my friends Henrik Pauli. The website of, a, of his website is in the link in the description below or just write a comment and I will try to answer your questions. And so that, that was it actually, right? Check uh, it out guys. Check it out. Let's build more Hankrit homes. Yeah. And if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, just um, leave a like, please, and click the subscribe button to see more of my content. See you. One last stop before I close this video is the beautiful city of Stralsund here, guys. I want to show you. Um, I, the last time I was here was when I came with the bus. It was night, raining in the bus station. Uh, you saw the video before. And yeah, now it's a beautiful weather and I have two hours around time to make some drone shots from the city from above. And yeah, so have fun. Well, it starts raining a little bit. But anyway, and let's go.